Let's talk about food. A chef in New York City is putting a new spin on an old technology and taking local eating to the extreme. All of the produce served in his restaurant is grown just a few steps upstairs from his kitchen. A Willy Wonka of vegetables. His garden grows without any soil and is closely monitored by computers. John Donvan goes up on the roof and chows down in tonight's Sign of the Times. Wow. Sitting on a stoop on West 10th Street in Manhattan with a salad and a chef who made the salad. There's got to be a story here. Meet John Mooney. The vinaigrette is, um, is a cider balsamic with a little bit of macerated berry and extra virgin olive oil. Three ingredients. Who in a few weeks' time is opening a restaurant in this very building at basement level. Booths here with our skylight. Uh -huh. But the real story is upstairs. Six long oh, flights again. upstairs. There is no elevator. No, because when you get to the top and the blinding light... Here we are. Wow. This is your farm? Yeah, this is our rooftop farm here in Manhattan. This is where that salad came from. It's roof to table. Roof to table. Roof to table. This is where the lettuce came from and the strawberries. I'd like to tell people that they're so perfect that they look fake. May I? Yes, please do. But look at what else he's growing here. Top I can we, smell the mint from here. Yeah, the mint is, is right over yeah, here. great. This is broccoli rob, summer squash. Have you ever seen a fresh chickpea? The garbanzo bean? You're growing garbanzo beans? Absolutely. Mooney's new restaurant, Bell Book and Candle, will be the first in the U.S. to grow its own food on a rooftop, enough to serve an 80-seat restaurant every night for 10 months out of the year. Beans here. Beans, yes. These are tomatoes? Tomatoes, yes. Can you show me what you got with tomatoes? Sure. Let me just walk through here. Without through damping the jungle. My produce. Get a machete? Just kidding, no machete. In a way, it's a vegetable farm, but kind of a Willy Wonka vegetable farm, the way this lettuce looks like it's growing on trees. On the lettuce, you're shaving something like 25% off the growing time. Yeah, I mean, I can harvest in four weeks. Amazing. But that's the key to what Mooney is doing here, and it's the point that he wants to make. The technology that makes this possible is called hydroponics, and it not only keeps this restaurant supplied with food he grows himself here above the city, but in the bigger picture, he thinks it could become a model for all of us to grow what we need very close to home. Why are you doing this? Well, for one... I mean, would, not, would it not yeah. just be easier to go down the street to the farmer's market? We're in New York City, there are plenty of them. Stuff tastes good. Well, because I believe in ingredients. I've always been involved in responsible sourcing, and then this is something that I can totally control. I can produce right here for myself uh, in abundance, you know, and all I have to do is go on the roof. The key is water, or more specifically, water without soil. Yes. So seven weeks ago, these were all seeds. Yes, one of the benefits wow. of hydroponics is the rapid growth. Mooney's using a system where water filled with nutrients circulates through these towers, each of which can sustain dozens of separate plants. The absence of real soil keeps the system lightweight enough and upright enough to fit into small spaces, like a rooftop. It also eliminates plant diseases and pests that can live in the soil. This is our bib. Bib lettuce. Yeah. You see the beautiful head of lettuce. Yeah. Totally beautiful. Roots attached. Yes. Without the sunlight, Roots attached, totally living. Amazing. I call it living lettuce, living salad, living vegetables you're eating. Who says lettuce can't grow on trees? <laughs> exactly. There you go. So show me what's inside one of these towers, how, how this is working. Okay. What we have in the base is the water, the nutrient solution, mm -hmm. the water that's filled with our minerals, which is what makes a plant taste good. It pumps through the center here. Mm -hmm. And then it trickles down. It uses 12 minutes of energy, an hour. Uh, it runs for three-minute cycles. Um, and, and then it gets air the rest of the time. Yeah, air and sun. Now there is something timeless unfolding on this rooftop because hydroponics as a basic concept is an ancient idea, as ancient as Babylon's hanging gardens. But it's always had an air of experimental to it, not a solution embraced by the world's farmers, in part because it's so unconventional and can be expensive to set up, as well as needing a lot of monitoring to keep the system functioning. But Mooney is a believer. John, in addition to running the restaurant, what are you trying to prove here? You know, we're just trying to be as efficient as possible. No, I hope I'm the beginning of something, absolutely. I think it's well thought out. We've tested this for more than a year. This isn't something we've just jumped into. There will be no waste. But for New York, it, I felt it's the way to go. To Mooney, this could also solve the problem of people not being able to afford what's available in farmer's markets. Yeah. So we're picking lunch? Yes, we are. I'm going to make you a couple varieties of salad. And yes, that salad really did come from up here. I know, because I helped in the harvest. A lettuce bouquet. 
and watch as the farmer on the rooftop becomes once again the chef downstairs. The only ingredient that didn't come from up above, the nuts and the cheese. All the rest really was rooftop to table, or we should say rooftop to front stoop. This is spectacular. I'm coming to your restaurant. It's really only a start, what's happening here on West 10th Street. But who knows? Maybe Mooney's right, and someday this view could be green from top to bottom. I'm John Donvan for Nightline in New York.